Hi, I'm Vanessa Cancino, and um, earlier you mentioned how immigration in the present day is similar um, to immigration 20 or 30 years ago. So would you say that immigrants in present day are um, in the same position of potential economic power as they were in the past? Thank you, Vanessa. That's a good question. It's an excellent question. Um, they probably are in a better position than they were in the past because they, there is mass now. There is volume. I mean, think about it. You know, there are probably you know, 36, 38, 40 million uh, Latinos in the United States. It's difficult to sort of put all of the people who speak Spanish together into a single pot. But, you know, let's just say that they belong in a single pot. That's 13 percent of the population. Well, heck, you know, before you know it, um, regardless of whether we reform our immigration policies or not, that number is going to be 15 percent, 18 percent, 20 percent. That's mass. Who are the, the, the institutions that first opened up to Latinos? The economy, employers, producers, because there's a market out there. Okay? In the older days, 10, 20, 30 years ago, ah, the numbers were too small. So you had niche markets, sure. You know, you went to Little Havana in, uh, uh, in Miami, and you knew that you had a specific market of Cubans. You know, you went to parts of Chicago, and you knew that you had Mexicans. Uh, you know, maybe here in Washington, you knew that you had, in Arlington, you know, lots of Vietnamese and all that. Well, now, in most of our big cities, you have 20, 30, 40 percent who are either foreign-born or in some relationship to a foreign-born person. That's a vast market out there. 